Let's solve this radical equation. Got x minus square root of 3x plus 7 equals 1. Our first step is to get a radical by itself. It doesn't, um, doesn't matter which side we take it to. I'm going to take this negative to the right side just to make it a positive. And I'll take this 1 over to the left side. So we're going to get x minus 1 is equal to the square root of 3x plus 7. Step 2, raise both sides to a power equal to the index. Uh, this is the square root, so the index is 2. So we'll score both sides. So we've got x minus 1 squared is equal to the square root of 3x plus 7 squared. Now x minus 1 squared is x minus 1 times x minus 1. Remember when your index matches the power you're raising to, they cancel each other away, so that leaves us 3x plus 7. x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative 1x or negative x. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x or negative x. And negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. Combine together like terms, negative x, negative x is negative 2x. At this point, there's no more radicals. That's step 3. So step 4, just solve for x. Um, now this is a quadratic, so we want to get everything over one side, 0 on the other. So I'm going to take 3x plus 7, move them to the left side. So I got x squared minus 2x. The 3x becomes a negative 3x when I move it over, plus 1. And the 7 becomes a negative 7 when I move it over. Combine to get like terms, negative 2x, negative 3x is negative 5x. 1 minus 7 gives us negative 6. Now this is the zero or the PSD method. x squared x, no x, there's no number in front of our x squared. PSD, we take the number at the end, which is 6, we ignore the sign, and come up with our three columns. The P column of solid products give us 6. We got 1 times 6, 2 times 3. In the S column, we add those together. 1 plus 6 is 7. 2 plus 3 is 5. Difference column, we subtract them. Smaller from larger. 6 minus 1 is 5. 3 minus 2 is 1. Now, number we're looking for is number in our middle term, which is 5. We got two of them. But the fact that our last term is negative means it has to be this one in the difference column. So we're going to use 1 and 6. Now our larger number to p column that we're using, which is a 6, is always going to be the same size as the middle term, which was negative. Number with circles in the difference column, d for different signs, so if this one's negative, this one has to be positive. Zero factor property. You get zero on one side, you factor the other side, you're going to set each factor equal to zero. So I'll set x plus 1 equal to zero, and x minus 6 equal to zero. And we get x equals negative 1, and x is equal to 6. Maybe. Remember, we have to check our answers. If I put negative 1 back over here, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, plus 7 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. If I put negative 1 here, negative 1 minus 2, that doesn't give us 1, so that one fails. If I put 6 in here, 3 times 6 is 18, plus 7 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. And if I put 6 here, 6 minus 5 would give us 1. So that one checks. And that's our answer.